Hi, it's Fernbark, and I'm uh, going to just do a little testing uh, with my uh, Magnum uh, inverter. And I've got the remote hooked up here. And right now, uh, battery is at 26 volts, and uh, it, I'm using 4 amp 05. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I have my uh, little Ryobi inverter generator warming up. And I'm going to hook it up uh, to my system, and then I'm going to run a few things and uh, just demonstrate a couple things. Uh, one thing that's pretty cool about this is you can look at a whole bunch of different parameters. I can look at a uh, different AC. So like right now, I'm it's putting on 121 volts, 60. Um, yeah, I'm not pulling much current at the moment. Uh, no input amps. And there's no voltage coming in uh, from an outside AC source. And then I'm going to go to my battery monitor. And it's just showing the battery voltage. And this is, um, I'm actually putting 4 amps into the uh, battery from solar. Oh, well, now it's going back down. And... Uh, that's, this is kind of handy to monitor because what it does is you can see if you're uh, losing power or, or making power. And so here I got, uh, that's my, uh, how many amp hours that are, are going back and forth between the uh, inverter and the battery. And then that's how much I've used today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and plug in the uh, inverter and then we'll see what happens to this gauge. There's the generator. It's not very noisy. Just plug in uh, right here. No, it's not probably producing any power going to the uh, system at the moment because the solar panel is doing okay. And now we're back inside. And I'm going to go back to my AC meter. Just, uh, So there I'm getting uh, 123 volts off of my generator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a heavy load on. I'm going to start the air conditioner. And then we can see So yeah, now we're putting in uh, 23 amps to, to the batteries and that's off of the inverter or that's off of that generator out there so that's why that jumped up so high okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the air conditioner and we should see a pretty different pretty big difference in the so that's what the air conditioner does now I'm using 30 amps out of the battery And uh, the charging light came on because now I'm um, actually having to charge the battery from the uh, generator out there. So yeah, I'm pulling 60 amps off the battery. That tells you how much energy these air conditioners use. I can't run this air conditioner off of that generator by itself. It, um, I've tried it, plugged it in, and it just kills the generator right away on, on startup. Uh, at least now, if I was, if I had to, boy, it doesn't like that at all. If I had to, I can run it. So 
So we're back at the battery monitor again, and uh, I'm trying to get the glare off of there. Yeah, the volt has dropped to 24 and a half here. It's really pouring the amps out of there. And that 2000 watt generator is Okay, I had to adjust the uh, charge voltage or charge uh, amperage. Uh, that little generator out there was just not able to. Uh, it's got a max 20 amp output, and uh, and the uh, Magnum is able to to uh, 30 amps. So I had adjust it down. I put it down to 15 so that the generator could keep up. But it had dropped to like 90 volts AC, and. Uh, Sorry, now I'm drawing less than an amp in the camper here, uh, and I'm actually putting another five and a half amps into the uh, recharging the batteries back up. Just for some additional comparison, I hooked the power, the 120 power, back up to the house, turned the generator off. I got the air conditioner running, and I'm only putting. 1.4 amps back into the batteries um, that just tells you how much current these air conditioners pull out well at least a 13,500 okay what we're looking at here is uh, the Magnum is in load support AAC and I'm reading from the manual in this mode the AC load connected are requiring more power than the incoming AC source can provide on its own the inverter pulls additional current that is needed for the loads from the inverter batteries to keep the AC current from exceeding the input amp setting on the remote control. So what I did was uh, I had set it to 15 amps coming in and so I have to use the 9 amps right here off of my batteries to uh, help support running the air conditioner. So I turned the air conditioner off and it's gone back to uh, float charging and I'm getting 26 amps to the battery or 23.